had no idea there were so darn many uh, Duner, Shwarma, Kafta places in one place. It was really amazing. I learned a lot just walking around here the other day. Here on the west side, in this area, again, large Turkish population, student population, and a real mixed area. And here behind me, we find another friend of ours, Imran's. Uh, this was one of the first uh, kebabs or duners that we actually tried and reviewed here on the station. Um, two other locations, this is a surprise, here walking around Tormstrasse, off one of the side streets here. Another location in the middle of the Mecca of the Shwarma, Duner, and, and Koftiki, Kofta. And one more interesting thing about our friends at Imran's, uh, we were, when we were researching and doing the Duners, uh, that came up as one of the number one places, but it also comes up as Shwarma, and it's interesting because of the, um, the flavors and the way that it's spiced and the way it's marinated. It was so different, and I talked about it then, and it was a beef version of it. So Imran comes in as both Duner and as Shwarma, I guess definitionally and by spice. Who would have known? So as I said before, I'm inspired by uh, social media and some people in the, the Berliner uh, foodie group on Facebook had suggested some different places and they got me interested in Sharma. Now we have been to Habibi's and we've been to Marouche. Uh, they're pretty well known, I started researching. Today, we're at Termstrasse and that's the location of one of the ones that was recommended by somebody that it is the best shawarma he's ever had in his life. Chicken or beef, just make sure you get the tahini and the hot sauce on it. As you know, Berlin is no longer a divided city, but there's still distinctly and kind of an east and a west. Kind of the central part on the east side is Alexanderplatz. Uh, here, we're uh, north of the zoo, which could be considered a central location uh, on the western side of town. From the zoo, we're two stops north on Tormstrasse, and I guess conventional wisdom would say that uh, if you want to get ethnic food, go to where the immigrants live, and like this area, Moabit and, um, what's north of here? Um, Ve Vedding, Vedding, and just two blocks on, in this direction from here is Arminius uh, Marktala. Uh, one of the several that we have here in town. Uh, today we're going to El Rida. Okay, so I think first off we have to thank the very nice people here at, uh, could you pronounce it? Alreda. 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 I can't do that with my R's, but <laughs> he even did it with the L part of it. I don't know. Like rolling an L. It was amazing. So anyway, we've got, uh, what, uh, yeah, you were asking me, what, where did I find out about this? This was a tip from a f one of the foodies on the Berlin Foodie Facebook, and uh, he said that this had the best absolute best in all of Germany. So uh, we'll take it, we'll see if the foodie knew what he was talking about. And uh, we'll go into the exposed. Now this is really interesting because um, when we went to Habibi, it was really, it was wide open, like an open uh, type of pita. Then uh, last week when we went to Marouche, it was really tightly folded and put into a press. This was put into a press with the meat in it. And then the, um, all the condiments were added to it and um, then just wrapped up. So it's kind of halfway in between. It's not fully closed like uh, Marouche's was. It's a little, again, slightly different technique. So what do you think? Mm. Mm. Again, not too sexy at the very beginning, but uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut these. It's a little picnic time. Yeah. So I do my best to try and come prepared for our little food adventures here. Uh, and I know, don't give me a hard time, please. I did, I did this before, uh, one of the others, and one of the comments was, he cut the dooner. Uh, it's just to give you a chance to see it a little bit better, and it's a chance for us to share. So, now we get a real, total yummy reveal. Okay, so this is obviously the chicken, and, uh, Christina, 
You want to share the chicken with me, or you want to do it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'd like you to taste it and tell me what you think. Tell <laughs> us what you think. Tell everybody out there that's watching. And uh, cheers. Cheers. And si <laughs> that chokes me. I don't know what to do. Oh, you're playing with your food. <laughs> The wonderful combination of the uh, the potatoes in there with spice on this. I would have to say that these spices are all a little bit different. Um, this one is a little bit drier than some of the others, but not dry. Okay, uh, very tender, very juicy, very delicious. Um, there's a combination. You've got the pickles in there. You've got the sharp, not too sharp, uh, but this one is a little bit lighter on the chicken for your sake, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the sesame sauce. That's great. I like that it's so fresh. Uh, the bread is fresh, the vegetables are fresh, the chicken is fresh. It's, yeah. And that's the sesame and the sesame sauce. Mm -hmm. Adds a lot to it. That's what the foodie said. Make sure you get. I think he said tahini. Or it's the same basically, but the, the sesame, the tahini sauce on there. Mm -hmm. This is a good. This is a very very good bite. And the cheese always for free. Nice free. Oh, free tea. A good selling point. And here we have the beef. A little El Rita. Putten. Putten This is an extension of Tornstrasse, basically. Yeah? Probably. I thought it was the same. And so we're going to do a little surgery on this side. This is the this is the beef reveal. It's looking conspicuously like um, a little bit like a cheesesteak, honestly. In this, um, in my small opinion. Mm, I got some spicy pot now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, This, again, is that really distinct. This is nothing like a cheesesteak, even though it kind of has that look to it. Um, and here is where you can really taste some of those uh, Middle Eastern flavors, the spices in here. You can have that, like, that hint of like an all-spice cinnamon in the background. Much different than the um, spices and the marinade on the chicken. Um, a much heartier uh, taste to it. A really, really delicious bite. And more along the lines of uh, when I said how Imran's was so different, that beef that they have there. It's kind of like a beef shawarma. It has that reminiscent of that same type of taste to it. Delicious, really delicious. Um, and everything that you would think that like you might find from it with the spices from that part of the world, from that eastern part of the Mediterranean. Mm. That taste just explodes in the mouth. So, thank you. I know, Sam says I look like a barnyard animal when I'm eating with it. This is one absolutely yummy shawarma. Uh, Got to give this a try. I have to say a shout out to the to the foodie on the uh, Facebook Berlin Foodies. And if you're on this part of town, if you're on this side of the city, uh, in Moabit, give this a shot. Out of one of like hundreds, literally, they, like, they're, they're everywhere here. But um, try El Rita, really great place. E L R E B A, El Rita. Say it one more time. El Rita. I almost did it. El Rita. I almost had that R. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please hit subscribe, like, and subscribe. Help us out here. Um, we're getting a lot of hits, getting a lot of people looking and watching, but I'm going to try and get those people subscribing as well. So please like and subscribe. <laughs>